I can almost guarantee that you have never held what I have in my hand here. These are American chestnuts. The American chestnut tree was wiped out about a hundred years ago, but that tree was so important to America. It dominated forests in the east. There were four billion of them and they were majestic. They stood about 120 feet tall and were 10 feet wide. But because they were so tall, it made it hard to get the fruit. So people brought in the Chinese chestnut. That Chinese chestnut had a blight which destroyed the American chestnut. Now there is an effort underway here in Loudoun County to bring back the American chestnut. The nut's got a flat side, mm -hmm. so when it falls out of the tree, nature's told it which way to land. Volunteers are planting 800 chestnuts that came from a project 40 years in the making, says Kathy Mays. She's the president of the Virginia American Chestnut Foundation. This is probably one of the few species that we actually have a hope of returning to the forest. Those nuts came from crossbreeding the Chinese and American chestnuts. The Chinese trees have a recessive gene that protects them from the blight. So they came up with a plan for multiple generations of breeding to bring out the, the blight resistance and preserve the American chestnut characteristics. The American chestnut is shade tolerant and grows well in forests. The Chinese tree does not. So this is a little uh, Darwin experiment here. Exactly. Yes, we're playing God. Just a small percentage of these trees will have the right genes to survive. We'll probably end up with just a handful of trees out of this field, but a chestnut produces 6,000 nuts a year. So you don't need a whole lot to do serious reforestation. Even though there's no chance any of us will be alive to see these American chestnuts grow to their full heights, it's all about protecting the future by bringing back part of the past. In Loudoun County, Peggy Fox, WUSA 9.